It's Mike McGowan. I'm on the phone with Amelie Van Tast. Did I say that right, Amelie? That is correct. Nice. And uh, you and Tommy Ten are the clairvoyants coming to the Ridgefield Playhouse on Friday night. Uh, it's going to be a, a great show. Now, so tell us, you're a, it's a mentalist mind reading act. Can you tell me exactly what, what's going to happen on uh, Friday night at the Ridgefield Playhouse? <laughs> well, uh, we love to, the interaction with our audience. It's always different. So we have like, um, we have a show and we have different acts. But in reality, the audience makes the night. The audience with us together, we like to break the border between stage and the audience. So we will be a lot in the audience. We will work a lot with their minds and their pockets and handbags, whatever they brought with them. And they will be uh, put us on stage as well. Nice. Now, so if, I, if, if I'm going to the show on Friday night, Am I going to be able? So it's just a it's just a matter of uh, hopefully you'll be one of the people that you guys pick to um, to work with. Or <laughs> there is also an act where everybody in the audience is involved, and we always laugh when people want to be on stage because we want to don't want to embarrass anyone or anything. Mm -hmm. But normally people really enjoy it because on TV on America's Got Talent. People could always think, okay, maybe someone was into it and there are stooges used in the audience. But then eventually when they are up on stage, they start to believe and then they tell us uh, that was the most magical experience they've ever had. So maybe you are going to be on stage as well. There is a lot of randomness in uh, what's going on into um during the show. Right. So, yeah, you guys were runner-up uh, season 11, America's Got Talent, Stage Magicians of the Year for 2016, Magic Entertainers of the Year 2015, and you're a Guinness World Record holder. What is the record that you have? Um, we had the most magic tricks in um, one, uh, 10 minutes. So when did you uh, realize you had this gift? Was, was it when you were young? How did that come about? Well, we were both always very fascinated by magic, and I used to start as a dancer, and I just loved the stage, being on stage, the smell of backstage, how things work, how people work uh, in the theater, and we just wanted to bring something on stage that hasn't been done before, and there are so many phenomena that people experience in their everyday life. For example, you think of a good friend and suddenly the person calls you. And those are phenomena we all know how it feels and we experience it throughout, throughout our lives, but we don't really question them. And we started to question those phenomena and took them and brought them to the next level. So they're even more impossible. The clairvoyant is going to be at the Ridgefield Playhouse on Friday night. Tickets are still available. And it seems like um, many, many people are just into this, you know, this wondering about, you know, clairvoyance and things like that. It seems to be the, almost everybody I talk to about it seems like they're into it and they want to know how they can get involved. So it's, it's a very popular thing, isn't it? Nice. Yeah, I think nowadays you can explain almost everything because when you don't know anything, you just type it in and Google it and five seconds later you know the answer. True. And we just try to bring stuff on stage where people don't figure it out in the next five seconds, and I think that is the fascination about it. So people can feel like they're children again. Right. Well, Amelia, it's been great talking to you, and Friday night uh, it's going to be a packed house. Ridgefield Playhouse tickets are still available for the show. It starts at 7.30, and you're going to have a great time. The weather's good here in Connecticut, so it'll be a good night. Awesome. <laughs> It has been a pleasure. Thanks for being on Weeby 108. Very nice talking to you. Have a great day.